Coco and Pure Salam, my loves, marhaba habibete. So I've got a chatty video today, so if that is not your cup of tea, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, but for those of you that, you know, hang out and enjoy these videos and, and like, not and like as an enjoy, uh, continuing the conversation down in that comment section, let's chat. Um, so today I want to talk about sort of being bold and taking risks and not like living on the edge, but just being bold and being brave. Um, I've been in a kind of transitional phase. I graduated and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next with life and where I want to live and what that looks like and what I want and that kind of thing. And because of the diagnosis that came in the late summer, I'm dropping things left and right. Um, every time I get into these videos and we get too serious, something goes off so I can like smile. So it's like the universe is like, just, it's okay. Things don't have to be that serious. Um, anyway, so because of all the health stuff that happened in August, I was kind of in crisis mode and not really forward thinking, just kind of in survival mode. And I forgot that like things were okay, things are manageable, we're doing okay, what comes next? And I had a bunch of these conversations with my amazing friend Noelle, who I can link her channel down below. And we were talking about being brave rather than being fearless and how she's like, I would rather be brave than be fearless. Um, and I agree. And that's actually an interesting distinction because to be fearless means that you either have an incredibly <laughs> high fear threshold or that you kind of live in, in, in a very um, level playing field where you're not challenging yourself. And I'm like, no, I'd rather be scared all the time, but conquer that fear. Not like all the time, if you know what I mean. And conquer than fear, then like feel just comfortable. To me, the kiss of death is always when I start getting comfortable. So all the big decisions that I've made in my life were in times where I realized that things had become too routine, that I wasn't pushing myself enough, that I wasn't challenging myself enough, that I wasn't taking enough risk. And risk looks different for different people, right? Um, also, risk is a lot defined by the circumstances you have. So it's easy to say, well, I feel like moving and up and moving um, if you're single and in a good, you know, economic position and, I don't know, are healthy and all those kinds of things. But there are different factors in our lives that make it so that we can't take sometimes the risks we wish we want to take. And when I talk about being bold, I think we should each be bold and being bold looks differently for all of us. Um, so this is as much a message to my future self when I'm doubting myself as it is kind of a conversation that I have with, that I want to have with all of you, which is I want you all to live the lives you want. Um, so for me, what that looks like, I've my entire life said, not my entire life, but like since I was a teenager, I <laughs> said that one day I will run a half marathon um, because I used to run 10K races in high school and I kept putting that off. And finally, when I sat down, I was having these conversations with Noelle and talking to myself because I talk to myself all the time and thinking about it, um, I realized that that was a huge goal that I wanted to achieve and why not? So things could change in the next three months. I could be doing something else, I could be somewhere else, whatever, but I was going to make a commitment to have this happen. And it's weird, but like in my four runs a week and thinking about it and like looking it up, uh, looking the race up on Instagram and all that kind of stuff, it's exciting. I feel sometimes really scared and really overwhelmed, but I'm also really excited about finally living up to things that I want to do. Um, another thing is getting to travel and spend a lot of time with friends that don't live nearby. Um, and again, that's something that we can kind of get comfortable and, and slip back and not do because of economic reasons, because of, you know, I just, I have too much to do, I have whatever. But I found that for me, when I quieted all those excuses and just acted on it, it's made me so much happier and so much more balanced. Um, and so I guess really the whole ramble here today is to ask each of you to, to give yourself what you deserve, which is living the life that you want. Um, and obviously realizing that there are going to be some obstacles or some adult real life things that make it so that maybe it can't be like exactly what you want to do. I mean, like you could want to be a pop star and that might happen, <laughs> um, but you have to take baby steps to get there. Do you know what I mean? Um, you might really, really want to travel all the time, but financial strains or having kids or whatever might stand in the way. So how do you find a balance between that? And I think a lot of the time we get caught up in our routine, we get comfortable in our routine, we make excuses for ourselves, we don't actually take the time to stop and think about what we want and how we go about achieving that. Um, 
and it also scares us so sometimes it's easy to be comfortable but I think we owe it to ourselves we have so much going for us that we owe it to ourselves to try our best to achieve and experience all the things that we want out of this world so this is totally a corny sappy open love letter <laughs> of a video but I love these videos for that reason because I feel like we can just be really honest and I can talk to you guys and I always look so much I so much look forward to the comment where you guys talk back because you inspire me and motivate me and so just like I do the health updates because we talk about health I think emotional health and that that kind of thing is also super important so I love doing these videos for that reason so um, I think that's about it <laughs> but uh, let me know the ways that you've been bold this year um, and that you plan to be bold going forward and the things that you're working towards and working on and yeah let's let's chat down in that comment section um, and I will leave it at that I will do points of positivity as always and then I will be gone for the day my first point of positivity is these lashes these are Mac number three lashes um, you could probably find something from a drugstore that's cheaper that is this look but uh, I got my makeup done at the Mac counter yesterday and uh, we popped these on and it was it just made me super happy um, and my second point of positivity is these chatty videos they always leave me in such an optimistic and happy mood so thank you for allowing me that opportunity and my third point of positivity is just a really lovely relaxing weekend I'm filming this on the weekend and it was just a really lovely relaxing one so yeah that is it for me today as always with Eminem making you guys smile thank you for hanging out today I will chat with you ever so soon but before I leave you as always let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick bye guys